Thank you our Heavenly Father. Thank you our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you the blessed Holy Spirit. For the gift of the night rest. And for the gift of waking up. Hail and hearty. Thank you for the gift of a new dawn. For without you Lord. These would not have been possible. For like the psalmist says, in Psalms 124 chapter 1 to 8. If the Lord had not been on our side let Israel say. If the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us. They would have swallowed us alive when their anger flared against us. The flood would have engulfed us, the torrent would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. Praise be to the Lord, who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the fowler's snare, the snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. I am indeed so grateful to you dearest Lord. What could I have done without you? Where would I have been without you? What could I have achieved without you? And what could have become of me without you? The enemy would have devoured me alive and raw. But thank you Lord for your amazing grace of protection and deliverances. Like the psalmist says in Psalms 127 chapter 2, that it is vain for one to rise up early, or to sit up late, or to eat the bread of sorrows. For it is the Lord that gives his beloved sleep. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of the night's sleep. For, for me to have slept and to wake up sound, hail, and hearty is indeed your doing and is marvelous in my sight. Dear Lord, I don't take it for granted. I appreciate you, I thank you Lord with my whole heart. I cannot be an ingrate. I bow before you dear Lord. In appreciation, worship, and thanksgiving. Dear Holy Spirit of the Most High God, You are my comforter. You are my helper. You are my energizer and you are my guide and counselor. Please come and fill me afresh with your power, wisdom, and understanding that I will be able to make wise, informed, and righteous decisions in any area that interests me. Fill my heart with the right thought. Give me a fresh mindset that is worthy of communion with you. Guide my mind to be spiritual and God-focused. Cause me to be conscious of your divine presence always, that I might abstain from sin and unrighteousness. Direct my thought to think right, noble, and pure. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Dear Holy Spirit, make this possible with me today. Cause my emotions to be dominated with the love of God. Purify my intellect and imaginations, to reflect the purity and righteousness of God. Let all my actions and inactions be geared towards pleasing the Father. Use my mouth to speak only grace, virtue, and things that edify. Help me to think godly and nobly. Cause me to be spiritually minded at all times and all through the day because to carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life. Therefore, Lord, I choose life. So help me, dear Lord. Guide and control my mind to be spiritually minded all through today. Renew my mind to reflect the same mind that is in Christ Jesus. Fill my spirit man with understanding and wisdom from above. I commit my today's plans, proposals, and intentions into your hand. Vet all my plans, proposals, and programs and align them into your divine plans, purposes and vision for me. For I know, that your thought for me is for good and not for evil, to give me future and hope. Cause me to please you in all my actions and inactions today. So that your blessed promises of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 3 to 13 shall find expression in my life and existence. That I will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country that my children will be blessed, as well as my crops. My herds will be blessed with calves and my flocks with lambs. My basket and my kitchen will be blessed. I will be blessed when I come in and when I go out. 
the Lord will help me defeat the enemies that come to fight me. They will attack me from one direction, but they will run from me in seven directions. The Lord my God will bless me with full bards, and he will bless everything I do. He will bless the land he is giving me. The Lord will make me his holy person, as he promised. But I must obey his commands and do what he wants me to do. Then everyone on earth will see that I am the Lord's person, and they will be afraid of me. The Lord will make me rich. You will have many children, my animals will have many young, and my land will give good crops. It is the land that the Lord promised my ancestors he would give to me. The Lord will open up his heavenly storehouse. So that the skies send rain on my land at the right time. And he will bless everything I do. I will lend to other nations, but I will not need to borrow from them. The Lord will make me like the head and not like the tail. I will be on top and not on bottom. But I must obey the commands of the Lord my God that he is giving me today, being careful to keep them. Dearly blessed Holy Spirit, help me today in all things to be able to keep all the demands and requirements of the Father, so as to be able to abide and abound in his love, his protection, his provision, and his guidance. For when he leads, I will not lack nor get into trouble. For as a good shepherd, when he leads or shepherds, there is no lack. There is no danger and there is no loss. Dear Lord, I also entreat for your leadership today, every day. Psalms 91 chapter 1 to 14 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. One there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. One for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. One they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Holy Lord unto you I come this blessed new day. Be my refuge and fortress. Be my shelter, guard, and guide me into all things, and in all things today, and beyond. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in our prayer. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Winning Secret TV, to not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We love you.